Today I'm gonna show you how to make chair covers or reimposter chairs. This comes from a Pinterest inspiration. So I purchased my fabric from fabrics.com in it being cheaper than going to like Joanne Fabrics or like Michaels or something like that. Yeah, beautiful. I love my fabric. Emerald green, that's what I bought. The first thing I started off with was like the chair bottom. I traced the outside of the chair bottom or the place that you put your bottom at. And then I cut it out. Very simple, right? If you haven't swept or mop in a while, don't worry about it. You could just use your fabric to do it. Yeah, just mop that floor. Kidding. I'm just trying to move it closer to the camera for you. So I take the fabric and I pull it up and then I staple each side to the bottom half of the chair. This is just a side view. Make sure you don't cover up any hardware that you need in order to connect up your chairs. That's just an important little tip to know. And then you're done with the bottom. Next step is to take each piece and then make a trace or outline of it and then cut out that outline. I'm gonna double up my fabric so I only had to make one cut. So I have both sides cut out and then I just uh, cut the bottom half of the chair for the layover over the arm. This is just the chair, just showing you all the pieces. Then I put the chair together. Again, it was like the Ikea fine. I didn't like the colors that came with Ikea, so that's the reason why I made my own chair cover. The last part I had to do was cut the um, back part or cut a piece of fabric to cover the back. I simply laid that over to the, the chair itself and then I pinned the sides to the actual chair using um, like fabric pins. Then I tape the sides to the back of the chair and to the top part. Did I say that right? Pin the chair fabric of the side to the back fabric. Pulling it tight, but not so tight that it causes like a crease or causes the fabric to pull. For ease, I use um, a sewing machine. So you want your chair cover to be snug, snug enough that it's a little difficult trying to put it back on the chair. Now what you see me doing is taking my side piece, you know, like a side piece, and pinning it to um, the sides of the chair. So I'm just showing you how everything's pinned together. Even the inside. Use your sewing machine. So all your seams up together and now you have a chair cover that's over. Now you have all this extra fabric. I pushed extra fabric through both, all three sides of the uh, chair bottom. Make sure that your seams are lined up. Don't pull it too much. And then that's what I'm showing you there with my finger. Look, the lines are straight. Then I came back the next day Mind you, I did three chairs, so I'm actually showing you three different chairs in this video. And I stapled the sides because I wanted them to have a snug fit. So I pulled down the side of the uh, bottom cushion and then I uh, stapled each side together. You remember when I pushed the fabric through the back of the chair? So it shows down at the very bottom. And so what you wanna do is staple that to the bottom of the chair. I'm just showing you how I did it. I pull the fabric up and then I staple it together. Simply cut the extra fabric that's just there. Of course, somebody wants like a hanging fabric on the bottom of their chair. It just doesn't look clean. It doesn't look nice. Next step is to staple all three sides. Yeah, my elbow is in the way of this shot. Sorry. Now this is your final product. Some beautiful chairs custom made. Subscribe and hit that like button if you would like to see more Pinterest.
finds or fails? Yes. 